Dr. Quinn, I'm not brilliant, but I have a smartphone with me that I have, I have told people that as long as I've got this with me, at least one of us is. And I Googled AstraZeneca. Now, is, it, is AstraZeneca not a cancer medicine? <laughs> well, actually, AstraZeneca is the pharmaceutical company. Okay. And this is really, really exciting news because AstraZeneca is actually working with Oxford University. And they're so excited because the research is going so well. They're already doing clinical trials with humans in the final stages. And they feel so confident that they're actually producing mass quantities of the vaccine, even though it's not yet approved, but they feel so confident that they're producing the vaccine because they just feel so confident it's going to be approved. And they even stated that they feel confident that they'll be able to start distributing the vaccine with the approval as early as October. Even some reports stated they are optimistic that it might be late September. So things are really looking up right now. Oh, that is good news. But so this is this AstraZeneca is not to be confused with any kind of AstraZeneca that we may have seen advertised on television. This is an entirely different drug. It's just being distributed by the same company. Is right. That- I mean, AstraZeneca is a company. And as I said, they're working with Oxford University researchers. I mean, this is phenomenal. I mean, there are other companies that are producing the vaccine as well. But the AstraZeneca uh, project, the United States is taking quite an interest, and we've invested quite a lot of money. Uh, different reports have given different numbers, but the bottom line is there's a lot of confidence. Now, this vaccine that they're uh, producing, already mass producing before it's even approved, it, it's used technology uh, that they were using for other vaccines. They're focusing on that 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 spike protein on the COVID-19 virus. That's the part that allows the virus to attach to the human cells so that the human cells can be infected, which is very characteristic. But as I said, they're really feeling confident. Everything is looking good. And if things keep going at this rate, you know, like I said, we'll, the vaccine will start the distribution as early as late September, early October. And by the end of the year, they'll, they'll have uh, distributed quite a bit and a lot of people are going to be immunized. They're going to start with healthcare workers and the vulnerable population first. That's the, that's the goal. But the bottom line is this is really optimistic and I'm feeling really good about everything. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question that's way above my medical pay grade, but it seems to me like that other vaccines try to build immunity by building up the antibody. But is this different in that it's trying to attack the protein? When you say it's attacking the protein, this is not necessarily an antibody. This is something to try to uh, inhibit the virus from doing the job that it does when it gets to the cells. Am I right or did I just waste 45 seconds of TV time? Well, well, here's what's going on. Basically, when you, when you produce a vaccine, they're they're using a, a, a similar uh, virus, but but it's, it's much less infectious. But they're they're injecting some from the actual COVID-19 virus. But what happens is once this is introduced into the to human circulation, our bodies produce antibodies. But these antibodies, theoretically, and and it's looking very good these antibodies will attack the actual infectious COVID-19 virus. So if we get the vaccine, we build these antibodies and it's like we have weapons. I mean, we have this army inside of us. And if we become exposed and infected with COVID-19, we can fight it off very quickly. And that way we can avoid becoming very sick, especially that vulnerable population, the elderly, those with chronic medical conditions. And then those individuals they have they have a fight now. They they can they can fight it off, and in a lot of cases, it's going to save a lot of lives. All right. Well, I trust you. Put me down for an appointment to get the first shot when you get that into your office. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. I tell you, I have so many people that are so excited. <laughs> Good deal. Well, I'm excited about it. Thank you for telling us about it.